you ever hit me again. Chief, I think we got a hit on our Me TV Fresno. Now on Comcast Channel 187. Hi, I'm John Mallows, and welcome to this edition of Connect With Me, live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this Friday morning. Hey, you're watching us live on Comcast, Channel 187 and 43.6. Today, we're talking about the Special Olympics and a very special program with two very special guests in the studio. Your phone calls are important. 436-ME-TV, 436-ME-TV, hit option 11, and turn down the sound on your television. Back in just a moment. There is no doubt about it, this is a special program here on Connect With Me uh, on this uh, Friday morning because we're talking about the Special Olympics and a very special event coming up on Monday at Chick Chansey Park and your chance, your opportunity, here is a great opportunity for you to join in and help out the Special Olympics come Monday starting at 10 a.m. at Chick Chansey Park. Let's go to the videotape and I'll show you what I'm talking about on Monday beginning at 10 o'clock in the morning, of course, it'll be the torch run for the Special Olympics, the Summer Games that take place June the 28th and the 30th up in Davis at Aggie Stadium. It's called the Summer Games, the Olympics. But the torch run takes place on Monday, June 17th at our favorites baseball stadium, downtown Fresno. That is Chuck Chansey Park. Now, it expects to raise this event roughly ten thousand dollars if they can do better than that it will certainly be a boost to the special olympics right here in the central valley now in northern california alone more than 1.2 million dollars has been raised as far as the torch run is concerned internationally that figure is about 42.1 million as you know of course the uh, special olympics is the world's largest sports organization for children who have some type of disability. Now the Special Olympics goes way back to the 60s. It started way back in 1962 by Eunice Kennedy Shriver. She started a day camp in her backyard. Later on, a couple of years later, actually a few years later, back in 1968, Soldier Field in Chicago was the first Special Olympics event that began and it all started right there in Chicago, all thanks to the Shriver family. Live in our studio right now to talk about the Special Olympics and the torch run. Left to right is Alex Nuno. He's a 15-year-old marathon runner. And boy, I know you can't see it right there, but take that uh, Chiron down, take out down the logo. You can see all of the medals. Look at those medals around his neck. It's amazing. And to his left is Freddie Henson. He is a member of the Fresno County Sheriff's Department. They're both here to take your phone calls. 436 Me TV, hit option 11, if you will. Turn down the sound on your television set. And please don't wade through the message. If you will, just hit option 11. That's 1 1 immediately. Today, we're talking Special Olympics. Back with your phone calls and our two very special guests in just a moment. Free to dare. We introduce the first home freezer. The first Pulsator Agitator Washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. And we're back here live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. No doubt about it, we're talking about the Special Olympics, the torch 
run starting on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning at Chick Chansey Park. It is a big event. The Special Olympics, I mean, there's so many events that take place uh, during the Special Olympics. You've got track and field, you've got soccer, water sports, you've got bowling, bocce, tennis, golf, so many events. But my special guest right now is Alex Nuno. He's a 15-year-old, a marathon runner, of course. And, of course, Alex, uh, or Alex, you're Alex, you're Freddie Henson of the Fresno County Sheriff's Department. Welcome to you both here on the set. So the torch run on Monday, what do you expect uh, from the torch run? What, what kind of event uh, is that, if you can explain it, and what do you expect? Well, the, the torch run is our, our year, our annual fundraiser for Special Olympics. There's many parts of the, of the torch run that go into fundraising. One is tip of cops, where cops wait tables with athletes at restaurants to raise money. Along with that, we do what's called a polar plunge. We do that in early March, which is another fundraiser, because LATR is basically a fundraising organization that's compiled of just law enforcement personnel across uh, the world. It's what's your involvement in the Special Olympics, and specifically uh, on Monday, the torch run? Uh, I'm the liaison for the Sheriff's Office in Special Olympics. I sit on a board in Fresno um, who answers to the executive committee, who's Dave Nobler from Chowchilla PD. And my involvement is I... I co help coordinate the run in Fresno. Um, I go out and I, I raise funds for Special Olympics, and we go out and we just spend time with the athletes. Yeah, great, great. So, Alex, uh, let's take down that Chiron if we could just for a minute because I want you to take a tight shot of this. Look at all those medals. Go ahead and show us those medals. No, 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 that's all right. You can, you can sit up there close to the desk, and I'll put, I'll put the medals up a little bit, uh, if you will. Uh, let's see if we can see those. I know the telephone is is in the way. Look at look at all those medals there. How many do you have? Alex? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fifteen medals. No, thirteen. Oh, thirteen medals. Are they all from running the marathon, or are they various events? From the Olympics. From the Olympics. Yeah. Okay. Are they all this from the same event, or? Yeah. But they are. But different years. Different years. Now you've competed in. How how many years have you competed in the Summer Games? This will be my fourth. I think my fourth year. Wow, that's a long time. So you must be very proud of this guy here, huh? Very proud. We actually ran the torch together for the first time three years ago, and as we're running down Blackstone, and I was dying, and he was running like a gazelle. He's telling me, <laughs> come on, Deputy Henson, you can do it. Don't quit. Remember Is that what happened? Mm -hmm. When was that? What year? Was that last year? Yep, that was last year. So you can outrun him? Anybody. Anybody can outrun him? Is that what you said? You hear that? <laughs> and I think he can outrun anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the Torch Run is a very important event because it is a fundraiser, like you said. And uh, the last time it was here, what, it, it raised, what, more than $10,000? No, last, last year, uh, last year, countywide, I think we did somewhere around $8,000. In 2011, we did around $27,000. Um, and countywide in 2011, we, we did close to $100,000 for our entire LATR program, which is Law Enforcement Torch Run. In Fresno County, there's roughly 2,000 athletes in Special Olympics, and it costs roughly $250 to $300 to sponsor each athlete for the year. And out of that, it's zero out-of-pocket expense for the athletes and their families. It, it's completely covered, and there's hardly... But internationally, the Torch Run raises about, what, $42 million, roughly speaking? R roughly, depends on the year, and yeah... 42 million. That's amazing. And where does all that money go? When people at home, they hear that, those figures, you know, 8,000, 10,000, 20,000, 42 million, where does the money go, uh, Deputy Hinson? Uh, the money goes to fund programs for the athletes to buy the medals, to buy food, transportation, um, equipment. Mostly everybody involved in the Special Olympics organizations, like myself, a volunteer. They don't get paid. They do have a limited paid staff, but almost all the funds that we raise goes directly to benefit the athletes. Why get involved? It, it's hard to... Why are you involved? Well, when I was 15 years old, I was a volunteer for the California Highway Patrol in an explorer capacity, and I did a tip -a cop with Sergeant Rick Field at the time. And ever since then, I just got... They, they light a fire. There's, you can't... You don't understand until you actually see where the money goes and I didn't understand where the money went until I was about 24 years old so about eight years later and I actually started partaking in the runs and going to the events and traveling with the athletes and when you go to a competition and you see the excitement the surprise the positive energy it's it's humbling wow and so what can you learn from someone like Alex 
and all the other athletes that you come in contact with at the Special Olympics. You you learn there's many life lessons that you learn from them, and, and each each day and each athlete is an individual, and you learn that ne no day is a bad day. Every time you're around them, they put a smile on your face, and they're never there's never any negative energy. In any other sporting competition, if an athlete falls or an athlete gets hurt, they don't stop. In Special Olympics, everybody stops, and they all carry that person to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just, it's truly inspiring inspi and emotional. I mean, you, it's, it's life changing. If, if any, you can go on our website, www.sonc.org. There's a calendar of events and you can go to. Yeah, it's up on the screen right now, that, that website that you were talking about. Go ahead and repeat it, even though they're looking at it one more time. Into the mic there, if you will, Freddie. The website on the, on the link right now on TV is to donate to torch run to letr to the athletes and that one's www.torchrunsonc.com you can click on sponsor a runner um, you can click on my name help fresno beat any other agency in northern california it's going to be the first time in history that we're the top fundraiser and we'd appreciate any support that that you can give us and if you want to know about calendar of events and i encourage everybody to go out and try to see where this money goes and how it benefits our athletes and you can go to www.sonc.com and okay. click on calendar of events and they'll have our our dates for our events on there all right so what do you enjoy most about competing in the summer games i compete with different against different people yeah and traveling with him not for sure freddy i yeah. do it in medals yeah. around the world that's good that's good so um what's your favorite event long distance okay okay and what which one are you going to compete in uh this year long distance long distance yep. okay so the marathon now how long is that marathon how long do you go how many how many miles do you run i think it's 3.1 3.1 miles that's a long way that's longer than he can run <laughs> we're going to take a break here Freddie and Alex we're talking to Freddie Henson from the Fresno County Sheriff's Department involved in the Special Olympics of course don't forget that torch run takes place on Monday Chickchancy Park 10 a.m. it's a fundraiser for the Special Olympics we're also talking to 15 year old Alex Nuno he's a marathon runner he's got 13 medals around his neck it's amazing hey if you want to join the program it's 436 me tv don't wade through the message hit option 11 as soon as you possibly can back in just a moment Starting at 9, 8 central on MeTV. And we're back here live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV today talking about the Special Olympics, no doubt about it. It is a special event in the Torch Run coming up uh, Monday at 10 a.m. at Chick Chansey Park. It is a fundraiser. And, of course, the uh, summer games take place uh, at Aggie Stadium up in Davis. That's, in case you don't know where that is, that is about, I would say, maybe about a 14-minute drive, 15-minute drive, uh, west of Sacramento going towards San Francisco along Highway 80. It's on the campus of UC Davis. So it's about a three hour drive up there. Taking part in that will be Alex Nuno. He's a 15 year old marathon runner here from Fresno. He's got 13 medals. Count them. 13 medals around his neck. And of course uh, Deputy Freddie Henson from the Fresno County Sheriff's Department. He took some time off of work uh, this morning. The Sheriff's Department kind enough to let him off work to come in on, on our show today. So taking part in the torch run we do have a video that we want to show you show you and our audience um, what the torch run is all about let's go ahead and roll that now Run is one of the 
miracles of Special Olympics. This whole movement started with one voice. One person, one voice having an idea. And that quickly rolled into a half a dozen who made that first run. And they joined together in this simple idea that the flame of hope, the spirit of the flame of hope, that the athletes of Special Olympics represent the best of our communities. Okay, so uh, this promo, uh, talking about the torch run, uh, what does it signify? What is it, what's the purpose of it? Well, in 1981, Chief Richard Lemunyan from the Wichita Police Department started the torch run, and, and it's our 32-year anniversary, and since then, the torch run has grown to being the number one fundraiser in the country at $42 okay. million dollars a year internationally. And that all started from Richard Lemunyan in Kansas. Okay. Um... That sounds great. And so, so the torch run started uh, what year? In 1981. Okay. All right, 1981. And so he's the man who started the torch run. That's correct. Okay. And that's how you raise a lot of this money to actually, you know, have what you have as far as the summer games are concerned. Because you need, you got to pay for the venue. You have to pay for everything, and it costs money, right? A, a lot of stuff is donated, and a lot of a lot of stuff we do have to pay for. And the only reason Special Olympics exists today is by people donating their time, their money, and their efforts to support Special Olympics. There's very little, if none, uh, no government funding that that supports Special Olympics. Okay, all right. So, um, what can we expect on Monday? We can what, what's the? Uh, tell us what we can expect as far as start to finish on Monday at 10 a.m.? Well, we're going to start our run at Chichancy Park Stadium. We're going to have about 40 runners between athletes and law enforcement and community people who support law enforcement, wives, family members, and friends. Um, the, the California Highway Patrol and the Fresno Police Department and the Clovis P Police Department and the Sheriff's Office are going to take part in the run. Each agency was kind enough to donate their personnel and personal and personnel vehicles to to lead the run in a safe manner. We're going to run from Chichancy to the Peace Officer Memorial and Courthouse Park for a brief press conference, and then we're going to run from the Peace Officer Memorial down L Street to Tuolumne to Abbey to Blackstone. We're going to block off all the intersections. We're not going to stop. We're going okay. to run the whole way, and we're going to conclude our run at Valley Children's. And it's about 14 miles. Okay. And Alex is going to run the whole thing. You're going to run the entire thing, Alex? Yes. Wow. How many miles is that going to be? 14. 14. Are you going to run 14 miles? Yes. Wow. How long will that take? Uh, we're, we're estimating about two hours. Depends on the pace that we run. Uh, not all of us are as fast as Alex, so we're going to have to slow. He's going to have to slow down for us, and so it, roughly about two hours. And then also... You're going to have to drink a lot of water. <laughs> huh? It's going to be hot on Monday. I know. I know, I know. So how many medals do you expect to win this year? How many will you, will you think you might win? I want to win four this year. You're going to win four this year? Four. Boy, that'll give you 17 total medals if you do that, huh? That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take a call. We do have a call here on Connect With Me. Good morning. You're on the show. How are you? Hi. Good morning. Yes, Deputy Henson and your guest, Alex. It's great that they, they came out to... Uh, promote the event at the downtown stadium. I think it's terrific. It's a great self-esteem builder and confidence builder for all the participants, and uh, I'm sure it helps uh, put a human side to law enforcement, and I think that's great that they step out and donate their time and um, their valuable time and their guidance to these athletes and competitors that uh, might not otherwise get an opportunity to uh, showcase their talents, and uh, I think what uh, Deputy Henson and um, the organization is doing is uh, commendable, and, and I think we should tip our hats to them and encourage them and support them every way we can. Any comment? Thank you very much. We appreciate the call, and it is a great organization, and it, it, it does a lot, and, and we appreciate your call. Great. Do you have any questions? I do have a question, actually. Okay, sure. Uh, Fire away. <laughs> what, what's the venue? What's the venue been in the past? Because I wasn't aware that the Grizzly, I mean the Chuck Chancy Park, uh, had hosted the event in the past. I know that uh, 
some time ago, O'Neill Park, and uh, in the past, Fresno State, etc. Uh, where have we seen it in the past, Deputy Henson? In the past, we've started our run um, near American Avenue at the county line. We'd pick up the torch from Tulare County, and we'd run it in. But when we ran out on the outskirts of the county, we didn't get enough visualization because this run is to to bring awareness to Special Olympics and, and what it does for the community as well as to signify we run the torch from from Bakersfield uh, into Aggie Stadium that starts our summer games program mm -hmm. and so it's kind of like the Olympics and they, they run the torch and that's exactly what we do and we didn't get enough publicity or and people weren't aware that the run was taking place in those outskirts so we as a as the uh, the board of, in, in Fresno County, we sat down and said, hey, let's let's run this as a group. Let's get all the agencies involved. Um, our sheriff, the chiefs of police, were very supportive. And they so we basically run as a united team from Grizzly Stadium, and we go to the Peace Officer Memorial to recognize our, our fallen officers as well as the athletes there. We, we do a brief press conference. And... The news it's a bit it's a big media event we run down blackstone there's a lot of people a lot of businesses people line the streets and cheer and support and it's a great great it's a great event, event. yeah and there's no question about it um it's it's you know the torch <laughs> the torch run is almost like an olympic event all in its own it is <laughs> it's it's almost bigger than the event <laughs> it, it's it's amazing and, it, and none of this would happen if we didn't have support from the community uh, real quick, I want to do this earlier, but I forgot. But I would like to thank the 500 Club for being a platinum sponsor. They donated five thousand dollars to this run. My so, goodness, it's amazing. I'd like to thank Siebert's Oil for their support and their donation. I'd like to thank Elephant Bar. They're they're providing lunch to everybody involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Coca Cola for donating uh, the drinks for the event and for the lunch, and uh, and John for having us on his show because this is uh, this is how we need to get the word out so people can see what Special Olympics is, what it does, and how it benefits the athletes. So where does the run start again? It's The starting point is where exactly, Freddie? It's going to be on H and Tulare. It and it ends at Chick Chansey Park, right? No, no. It ends at Valley Children's Hospital. Oh, okay. Once right. we get to Fort Washington and Fryant, we're going to run through Woodward Park along 41. Now I get it. Okay. Down Children's to, right. to Valley Children's Hospital. Where That's a long way. A long ways, 14 miles, and I, I wish I could say I could run the whole thing, but I'm not as in good a shape as Alex, but I'm going to go until I can't run anymore, so. You're going to run al alongside this guy here? We are. We're partners. Yeah. He'll make All him right. carry the torch, we got to slow him down. <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about some of the events. I did mention them briefly uh, earlier in the broadcast here, how many events uh, actually take place in the uh, Summer Games, the Special Olympics. We're back with our program, 436 Me TV. hit option 11. We're back in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. Back here live on our program, let's uh, put up a little slideshow, if you will. We're going to take a look at that and talk about some of the sporting events that actually take place in the Olympics. They, uh, track and field, soccer, water sports, quite a few. What are we looking at here? This is from past events, right, Freddie? That's correct. Events that started in the 80s and that worked their way. Um, into future events that we currently hold today with, with different athletes across the state and the country. Yeah, what do you think of that, Alex? It's a long time ago, huh? Yep. Yeah, probably before you were born. Yeah. How old are you again? 16. 17. 17. Oh, you're 17? Mm -hmm. Wow, you're grown. You got a cell phone? Yep. You driving yet? No. All right. You will be, though. No? No. You don't want to? No. Okay. It's all right. It'll come. Don't worry. You will be. <laughs> I guarantee it. Anyways, these medals are very impressive. I can't take my eyes off of those. So we have how many events all together for the Summer Games? Can, do, can you name all the events, Alex? Or, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I mean, look at all these events here. It's amazing, huh? Well, in Summer Games, there's uh, going to be 925 people between athletes, volunteers, and support wow. staff. Wow. And the summer games, there's tennis, bocce, 
aquatics, which is different swimming events and different track and field events. Um, you got bowling? No bowling at summer games. No, oh, okay. just aquatics, um, track and field, okay. and bocce, and tennis. Okay. No golf? No golf at summer games. Those are those are different events that, that are, take place throughout the year. There's two major events in Special Olympics. One is Winter Games, which is held at China Peak. And, again, zero out of cost, our out-of-pocket costs for their, the athletes and their families. We, we sh ship them there. We feed them. We pay for their housing. We pay for the event. Uh, same thing for summer games. We charter buses. They go down. They, they stay uh, in the dorms at the college. They, they feed them. It's a wonderful event. Right. Now, when did you start running, Alex? Sixth, sixth grade. Sixth grade? Yeah. Why do you like it so much? Why is it so enjoyable for you to run? I like running. Uh-huh. Because it's a great opportunity to meet different, like, different runners around the world. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about when you're running? And especially Monday, you're going to be running 14 miles all the way to Children's Hospital. Boy, that's a lot. I couldn't do that. I can barely run two miles. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you like to think about when you run? Good things. Good things? Well, good things happen to good people, so uh, there's no question about it. But uh, uh, do you think you can make the whole 14-mile run? I did it before. I can do it again. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What are you going to be drinking? You drink a lot of water? I drink a lot of water. Yeah? Gatorade, maybe? Some Gatorade? Yeah. Stop and have an ice cream cone on the way, or no? No. No, you can't do that. That's against the rules, right? Yeah. After, after. you can. <laughs> I wish we could get him to stop for ice cream, because he wears <laughs> us all out. Yeah, I can ima I can see he's, uh, he's an athlete. There's no question about it. So what do you think the athletes themselves, and I call them athletes because they are, they have more courage than 99% of us out there. There's no question about it. What do they learn? Well, in Special Olympics, they learn. The tagline for Special Olympics is Go ahead uh, and talk pre again. preparing for life sports. And so life through sports. 52% of all of our athletes that, that are in Northern California are employed, whereas 10% of intellectually disabled Americans um, are employed. So 52% of our athletes are employed and they learn life skills. They learn uh, Special Olympics is more than just sports. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, they, they go out and they, they reach and they inspire and they touch the athletes as well as the athletes inspire and touch us and teach us things that we've never would imagine. They find out how far they can reach, what they're made of, right? That's, that, yes. And they, 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 their life skills, their, their confidence, I mean, it, it's... It again, builds confidence, does it not? It does. And you, you really don't see and learn until you actually go to an event and you, you really, I mean, it, it's life-changing. That's all I can say. What have you learned, do you think, Alex, by taking part in the Olympics? Like running, like running with different people. And meeting different people? Yes. What did you learn about yourself? I learned I could, I learned I could run fast and I could run with other people I did not know I could run with. That's great. That's great. Now, um, where, do you, where do you go to school? Central High School. You go to Central High? Yeah. Hey, that's out there at the Central Unified School District, huh? Yeah. How do you like it out there? It's good. Pretty good? Now, are you out of, you out of school now for the summer? Yes. Okay. And you're going to be a senior next year, huh? Junior. You're going to be a junior next year? Yes. I will okay. be a junior next year. Be a junior. And what's your, uh, what, what do you like to study out there? What are you studying? One. Running? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite subject, do you think? Art. Art? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. So Central High is a good place, huh? Yes. How do you they're like your teachers out there? They're good. Really? Yes. You're being honest with me now? Yes. Okay. They're good. <laughs> so I want to make sure because, you know, <laughs> okay, I'm just teasing you. You know that. So you're going to win four more medals. You'll have, uh, when you come back again, you're going to have a total of 17 out, uh, around your neck, yes. I guess. Yes. Man, you're pretty confident then. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's amazing, the confidence. Oh, well, I, we got to go. We're out of time. I don't want to get cut off. Freddie, you, you're welcome back here anytime. Thank you, John. Thank and you for so having you, us. And so you, Alex. Good luck to you, and I hope you win four more medals. Thank you. Good luck. All right. We're back on Monday. That's going to do it for us today here on Connect With Me. We're glad that you joined us uh, for this program. And don't forget, the Torch Run takes place on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you back here on Monday with Ralph Wood of KMPH. Thank you.